Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect, and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create a video presentation out of your data set. We are going to use Excel's 3D map feature, a very useful tool that allows you to plot values on a map and allows you to also share the final result in a video format. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So we'll begin with this data set, basically about a bank that has data on customers who opened accounts. So in this column, you have the various account types. So we have savings, investments, and current accounts. The age of the people who opened these accounts, the amounts that they deposited, the location of the campaign, the gender, and then date. So as we always do, it is best to have this data set in a table. You can do that by standing in any data set, by standing in any part of the data set, go to insert and then you insert a table, or you can easily do this using control T. So this inserts a table around my data range. We look at the fields and we realize that this should be a date. So we can go in here, control shift three or hash to convert this into a proper date. The amount deposited can also do with some formatting control shift one so this is the data set we have we are now going to convert it into a pivot table again standing in here you can go to insert pivot table or we can press these keys one after the other alt and v t for recent versions and this is your pivot table i would i would like to place this by the side of my data set so i'll click somewhere here and I will click OK. So this is my pivot table. Now, I could easily analyze this data set using the amount deposited in the value section. Okay, I want to see the amount deposited, let's say by location. So I'll put this in rows and then also split or slice this by product type. I'll put this in column. So this is how we would have done this if we were using pivot tables. But because it has some geo data, okay, so these are cities or towns in Ghana, it will be very intuitive, very nice to have this data presented on the Ghana map and also offer us an opportunity to even save the report as a video file. So to do that, you can stand in your data set, go to insert and you see 3D map here. So standing in here, we can now open 3D maps. and it opens this window for me. Now, very, very basic layout. It looks like how you would analyze this in a pivot table. That's why we started with a pivot table. There are three major panes here. First is the tour editor. So look at this as the slides in your PowerPoint presentation. You can create as many as you want. Then there's also the layer pane. The layer pane is where we are going to drop and drag these fields, okay? Just like you would do in a pivot table. So for now, let's take off the field list and we'll now go through the sections here. So there are basically four sections. The first one is location. So in the location, you can add the field in your data set that contains geo data or geographical information. It could be city, it could be town, latitude, longitude, anything geographic, you can put it here. Now, sometimes it attempts to read the content of your data. So it's already picked location as the column that contains geographical information and read it as a street. So here you can come and then change it to, let's say city. Okay. Now the moment I change it to city, it will take a while to process. And you realize that it now sees that these are cities in Ghana and it zooms into Ghana over here. Sometimes you can check the confidence level of the mapping there are times it doesn't see all the cities sometimes it's helpful to come back and then do some tweaks to push up their confidence a bit a good way you can do that is to come and convert the geographical information here okay into a geography data type so it can be helpful it may correct some of the town names in there 
with the data types once it converts to a geography data type you can even use this to draw other insights from this data as an example i can determine the population or country so let's try country you see that it confirms that every town here is from ghana so there's a lot you can do with this but for now let's go back to our map so location takes the field that contains geographical information the height is the column that contains numbers so if you look at our data set that is the amount deposited so i'll click here and then i'll choose amount deposited okay now the moment i do that you realize that it attempts to plot using any of these visuals the column chart stacked the heat map and all that now because this is going to be a 3d map you can use this navigation to set it in a way that you want okay so i can just tilt it a bit like that and then zoom in in such a way that i can see all my towns in here so we are now analyzing the various cities or towns by the amount deposited you realize that we had another field that showed us the product type you can use that as a category you would have put this in a row section or let's say a column section in a pivot table so this would add a further perspective or dimension to your data set so we can come and then we now slice this by product okay so if it helps you can put a legend to this okay and even resize the resize the legend so that you see the various account types here now the exciting part of this data set is the column that contains dates so you have any column that contains dates you can add it into the time part so you realize that it has only profiled the date column so i can add it now what it will do is that it would attempt to do a time run okay and then play the various values here based on the date in the data set so if i have this and i'm doing a presentation i could just play this over 10 seconds so it will start with the first point of the data and then it will show me where i went next subsequent towns and all that okay i can create many slides from here especially if i apply a filter but at this point if this is okay for you and your colors are okay you can even add an annotation so more like data labels so i can add an annotation here and then just choose amount deposited okay so that i have an idea that this is based on amount deposited okay now this slide can be saved as a video presentation so once you are done with this you can create a video presentation out of it i prefer the first one so i'll select this and then i'll choose create you can add soundtrack options and all that so i'll choose create so let me name this sample video and then i'll save this in my folder so it takes a few minutes to create a video and if you have many slides this can be playing based on the timing and then the intervals that you give in between the scenes so my video is done now let's open and then see what we got so this is my video so it shows that i had a lot of customers in the greater accra region and then most of them signed on to current accounts so if your user is interested in a more geographical display you can save this video and then give him a more interactive report so please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more of these short videos you can send add to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list we send videos directly to you on your phones all our old videos are on our youtube channel finest skills app please visit subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching